Hello, everybody. This is Carly with Lilith's Window Tarot, and I am here with Barb from Quartz Rose Tarot, and we are ready to do episode 10. Can you believe it, 10? If you've been with us from the beginning, we appreciate you. We are going to spill the tea and see what's up with your person. So say hello to Barb, everyone. Hey, guys. Let's get into the reading and see what's coming up, all 12 signs, starting with Aries. So Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Aries. And welcome back, everybody. We do appreciate you being here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Absolutely. So let's get into this. So what do we got for Aries, please? Okay, someone's being very strategic, not showing emotion, maybe wanting to rush towards a Queen of Wands, or this is you, Aries, um, to work on something. There's emotional communication. I feel like emperor moving forward, but waiting, waiting, waiting. So I feel like you have someone here, could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, that wants to rush towards you, Aries, and, and work on a situation. There's passionate communication. But I feel like there's an emperor here that's trying to move forward as well but waiting i feel like waiting i feel like somebody's knows that there's somebody else that's trying to come towards you because this is also aries energy but i feel like this is a separate person i feel like this person's trying to rush towards you to work on it and passionately communicate but i feel like you have an emperor here that's wanting to move on but then he goes wait a minute wait a minute what's up what's up uh, there's a, there's somebody, there's an option here. There's an option here. And do I want to slow my roll? Because before I move forward, I feel like he's waiting because of this option under the bottom of the deck at a crossroads, feeling very anxious, taking his time, taking his sweet old time. Okay. Towards you because you're the emperor, you're the free empress. And, and he's a little jealous. There's some jealousy. So I feel like you may have another suitor coming towards you, Aries, but I feel like uh, the emperor here is a little jealous. And in you know he may have he may have threatened to move on or said he was moving on, but then he's waiting and looking back over his shoulder like, oh, what's she doing now? Okay, so, wow, it was a lot. And also, I'm gonna apologize ahead of time because there are fireworks all over my neighborhood, and there's not a single thing I can do about it. Just be glad that it's not the. Uh pilot fighter jet show that they had today that was terrible anyway <laughs> aries okay Whew. somebody wants a brand new beginning with somebody um they feel very conflicted but they're being compelled to move forward anyway so this could be this could be you aries or this could be your person okay take it as it resonates but what i'm seeing is that somebody wants a new beginning with this five of wands though like if you if you look at this five of wands um they are conflicted very, very conflicted, and it may very well be from some outside sources, like outside reason, like other people's opinions. But the Wheel of Fortune is mo is moving forward nonetheless. Six of Cups, you've known this person for a while, or in a past life. Five of Cups. Okay, here's the deal, guys. So somebody wants um, a new beginning with you or your person. Um, take it as it resonates. But I feel like there is some kind of a family situation that's in the way and is causing this person to not be able to move forward because they still have some regrets and some sadness about this past, this past situation, past relationship that they walked away from. Why did they walk away from it? Because it wasn't balanced. Um, Seven of Pentacles. They're really trying to reinvest in something else. Um, because they know that whatever this situation is, it's ended. They walked away from it, it's ended, but it's still lingering in their energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. So you or your person is keeping it a secret that they want to come towards you. but And they're struggling because of this, whatever this situation is. Um, they need to heal it themselves before they can come towards you with an offer or tell you how they feel. Whew, could be dealing with a Capricorn. Or it's just this devil energy. There's somebody else in the mix. There's something, some other issue in the mix. And that's what's keeping um, keeping the two of you apart right now is this secret. So that's what I got. Wow. 
Yeah, Somebody's going to come. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, it's, and it's very intense. And I knew it as soon as this hit. I don't, I don't like, I don't like this other, I don't like this other energy that's piddle farting around in here. I don't like it. Yeah. But you have, you have somebody that does want to come towards you. There's just some other crap going on that catches their attention. Yeah. I feel like somebody's looking back at that and going, wait a minute, wait, wait a, minute. a minute. What, what yeah. I do, what I do, what did I well, stop this? Yeah. It's like they have fear missing out. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's like they only want you once somebody else does. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's, you know, you, you look, you, your, uh, your value just increased, your property value just increased. Right. So according to them anyway. Yeah, according to them. I mean, you should know your value already, but okay. So guys, let's get into Taurus, Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Taurus. <clears throat> New passionate beginning in a relationship. Looking at past mistakes, causing a tower, getting some clarity, wanting the truth about some, uh, I feel like someone was juggling. Somebody was juggling manifesting, manifesting communication. So, so there may have been somebody who cheated. So there was a new passionate beginning in a relationship, but looking back at past mistakes, it causes some kind of a tower moment under the bottom of the deck. I feel like, I feel like you, your happiness was to offer somebody love, but you got betrayed. And there's a, a, there's a harsh truth being spoken about what was hidden in a new beginning in love. So moving forward I've, with an option, moving forward with an option. That's what I'm getting. So truth and clarity. You want clarity. You want somebody to speak their truth about the juggling. And you're manifesting this communication. But I feel like you really wanted to have a celebration here and offer your love. But I feel like with this betrayal uh, and the harsh truth being spoken about what was hidden, you're going to get the truth, but it isn't going to be what you want to hear about somebody having a new beginning in love and moving forward with an option. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Taurus. Yep, somebody's moving. Somebody has been moving away from you. I think slowly moving away from you. Um, they think they're doing it secretly, but I'll tell you what, you feel them detaching. You may not know what they're doing. You may not know their, like their mode of operation, but you feel their detachment. Um, the hanged man, and you're starting to see things from a different pers perspective. I think that's you. I really do. Um, kind of mulling over every single thing that's happened in the relationship. Well, because you, you feel them detaching. So you're now you're thinking about every single thing they say and they do and wondering if you should continue to invest. There's the lovers are here. So the energy, um, you know, for you to have a relationship is there, but both of you have to be on the same page. And I feel like they're not. Yep. Two of Pentacles. Isn't that what you had? Yeah. But I feel like that with that lovers, that's the choice because there's a two sure. of Pentacles. They're right next to it. That would really say to me that there's, two people then they've got to make a decision about which one they want well and it, so, and it could be i will say that sometimes juggling isn't always a person for, for yeah. me like a third party isn't always a person but it doesn't matter because it feels just right. the same so there's another person right. in the mix here and your person has been slowly detaching um and and i you know again here's the emperor they're they need to they, somebody needs to make a decision about what their ten of cups is yeah uh, because they're they're stringing you along slowly but surely with this Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like they're just kind of keeping you on the back of the horse for a hot minute. King of Swords. Um, somebody needs to speak their truth about this Knight of Wands. Somebody could have been a player, um, causing you to be on the defensive and and walk away, or they are walking away from an Ace of Cups situation with you to go towards their Nine of Cups, which is their which is their wish fulfillment. So again. If you have somebody that's breaking up with you, I know it's hard, but remember that it is, it is, it's, it's intended. It's intended. Yeah. It's almost a blessing in disguise. I mean, you it, know, it what? always will be. It, it if, if, will if be. they've, if they've got somebody else in the mix, let them have them because there's nothing about being somebody's second choice or being whatever. Right. Let, let them have right. it, you know, because right. you deserve better than that. And so. when a relationship comes to an end, you know, you guys have just spent the time in life together you were meant to spend, and they're not for you anymore. The lessons that are learned, yeah, yeah, 
Absolutely. Okay, so Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Gemini. What's Gemini need to know? Oh, Gemini. Gemini. Okay, so I'm feeling like I feel like someone's either holding back from working on something or someone's holding on to a third party emotionally communication. Emotional communication causes this tower to fall. So the tower's falling because somebody may be holding on to a third party. Um, I feel like you're getting clear about this ending. So clarity, uh, the light's really being shown. Look at that snake in the bottom of the, the corner there. So the light's being shown on this snake and it's causing an ending so something new can begin. And you may be heartbroken here uh, because of their deception. And boy, the cards are speaking and it's toxic. So a toxic deception. So somebody was, you know, this this is just really bad energy right here. This is bad energy. When you have the seven of swords and the devil, so oppression, obsession, um, possession, whatever you want to say, and, and deception, lying, cheating, and stealing. You know, you know that this person was narcissistic, first of all, and, and they did not have your best interest at heart. So they held on to a third party. Emotional communication um, causes a tower because of clarity. There's an ending so something new can begin in a heartbreak. But that's deception with this toxic person, whoever this is. You're very, very guarded and defensive and waiting for a new beginning. I feel like you're, yeah, you're just waiting for a new beginning. You're waiting to move on, waiting for that ship to come in so you can have this new beginning for yourself. And good for you. Good for you by letting go of what doesn't serve you. Because they knew exactly what they were doing. When you have the Seven of Swords... Yeah, with the, the devil. devil. They knew, yeah, they knew what they were doing. So yeah, all right. Ten of Swords, something super painful that ended, um, that you felt betrayed and backstabbed. Um, yeah, Five of Swords. Somebody wanted to win at all costs, and a lot of times a narcissist will present for me as a reader as the Five of Swords because, yes. um, you know that's that's air energy. That's their thought. They're they are in it to win it, whatever it takes. Whoever they hurt, whoever they have to push through, stab, get out of the way. That's that, what they do. That's as bad of energy. That's the baddest energy that with the with the seven of swords and the devil is just as bad as that ten of swords and that five of swords together. Right. Horrible right. energy. It is it is. I mean, and this ten of swords, I mean, you know, this is that's pain. Yeah, that's man that's down pain. on aisle five, big time. Yeah, that's a pain. Um, feeling like you're never going to come out of it, right? Yeah. But you were because, look, whatever happened was very divinely guided, okay? This is the universe, okay? Yeah. Bringing this to fruition. Yes, it hurts. Yes, it sucks. Yes, it's bad. But, yes, it's going to get you forward to where you're supposed to be, to what belongs to you, right? And as I say that, as I live and breathe, Ace of Wands, okay? Yeah, that new Ace passionate beginning that's coming for you. Um, yes. Somebody that wants to work on things with you, not somebody who is going to be a narcissistic. The three of coins, somebody grounded who wants to work with you, who wants to build with you, right? Could be a fire sign. we got Queen of Wands here. Um, doesn't have to be. You could just have that in your chart or they have that in their chart or whatever. But this could be you also getting your fire back because this broke you down just a, yeah. just a bit. It broke you down. And here you are, you know, you're holding that wand in your hand. You're ready for that passion. You know your worth. You you know what you want. You know what you need to do to get it. And what you need to do to get it is move forward. Eight of wands, communication, travel, whatever you, whatever, you know, it, it is for you. But moving forward with that beautiful, beautiful sun in the background, okay? We've got a lot of fire energy. Um, whew, somebody will come in hot and fast. Yeah, and it Again, this tower, this whole thing is, is a tower moment for you. What do we have on the bottom? The sun. I'm not saying anything else. Okay. You got tower. some happiness coming at the end. Yeah, you do. Yes. Yeah, you yes. do. You're going to move forward, okay? It's going to break down everything that doesn't belong for you, that's not for you, that's not in the cards, no pun intended, for you, okay? And so that may be you this. tossing that person out the window. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it probably would feel pretty good, right? Yes, but you yes. are. But you are going to be in pursuit of this new thing, or they are going to be in pursuit of you, of this new thing that's going to bring ultimate happiness. The sun is the best card in the deck, guys. So yes. Feel it. Feel the Gemini. Feel Gemini. The and then move on. Yes. And then we are in cancer season. So cancer. Boy, we are in cancer season. 
I I am a cancer, so yes. I deal with a lot of cancers. I was like five or six of us in my family that are cancers, so it's a very, (laughs) very good thing. So uh, I'm a cusper, but I just my and my Venus is in cancer, but I'm telling you, that cancer energy is so foreign to me. It's so weird. Oh, I I got my rising, my sun. I'm I'm sorry, my sun, my Venus, and my moon are all cancer. My rising is Leo. So, Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for cancer. Let's see what's coming up for cancer. Cancer, someone's going to speak a harsh truth. They can't get you out of their head. They want to they want equal give and take in this relationship, a new passionate beginning, but you're not speaking to this person. You're not speaking. So this person's going to come rushing towards you. You haven't spoken to this person. That's what that's telling me right there. You're not speaking. But they're looking forward to a victory. They want to come back from the battle victoriously, okay? So whoever's rushing in because they can't get you out of the head, they want equal give and take in a relationship, new passion, a beginning, they want a victory here. They may be watching you on social media, if, uh, but they know there's burdens. Burdens they may have caused. Resting and recovering, but still feeling very guarded. Maybe because there was options here. King of Cups. Could be you, Cancer. Could be somebody you're dealing with. But somebody's mastering their emotions about what happened here. I mean, there was options, illusion, confusion. So they may be resting and recovering, feeling very guarded because of an option, trying to master their emotions. So. Boy. Well, I'm going to go a little further with this because this is pertinent here. Because somebody may have had somebody that was jealous. And but there's now been an ending. Something has gone full circle. And it this happened a long time ago. So this could have been going on for a while. So this isn't something that, you know, happened within the last six months. This has probably been a year or two. Okay. And now you see things differently, or they do, but you're dealing with a king of pentacles. And the king of pentacles wants a new start with you. So wow. That's pretty deep. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. And did I mention that my my Venus was in Cancer? Your Venus is in Cancer. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, Ooh, the Magician and the Knight of Pentacles. Again, been going on for a long time. They have been manifesting you for a long time, or vice versa. Mm-hmm. But I keep wanting to say calling in your soulmate, calling in your soulmate. They're coming slowly or whatever it is. But yeah. Yeah. Your wish fulfillment. Yeah. Manifesting your wish fulfillment for a long time. Could be with a Leo. That's interesting. <laughs> but you have, see the way, I like the way that Leo is kind of looking. I don't know if you can see that. Yes. At that, at that magician. So. It's like you or, you know, you or your person or whoever it is has been hanging out for a long time manifesting this connection. It's like it's it's like a long time. Like you said, I mean, not this isn't just a few months. This maybe not even just be a year or two. This is like for a while. Um, wanting that victory. Now. Yes. Yeah, wanting that victory. Um, if you just you stay strong or if they stay strong or whatever and continue to manifest what's in your highest good, you're going to win and get your wish fulfillment. Um, Yeah, look at that. Six of swords. This has been, both of you are on this kind of like, um, like a lesson, like a journey, and it's taking you a long time, but it's going to bring you together. It's going to bring you together because both of you, well, you had that too, are seeing things from a different perspective. And you had to go through all of this, right? Four of cups, you had to go through some kind of a missed opportunity or they did. Um, where there probably was someone else that they held on to with the four of pentacles. Good God. But here you are. Now you're finally moving forward. Now you're, now there's some progress. Okay. Um, Or communication might've been blocked between the two of you for a while. That's true too. That's true too. But I also feel like when you do communicate, somebody is still going to have their walls up a bit. Could be you, could be them, could be both of you, but it's imperative that you speak your truth with that, with that. Um, ace of swords because somebody sees you as the empress 
okay? And they've been waiting on you for a while, or you them. Take it as it resonates. Um, having gone through some change, having to leave some people behind, whether that was a karmic relationship or what. Yep. Oh, it was a karmic relationship. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Five of swords <laughs> and the devil. God, that's as bad as Gemini. Ooh. Right. But that's a, you know, that, that, they're okay, done but with that, that right there is, that is, that is mind games, toxic mind games right there. Toxic mind games. But I don't feel like that that's, that's bit, I don't feel like that's our person. I feel like, no, that's, that's in, the energy. Yeah. That's the energy that they're coming from. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever's coming in is dealt with this, right? Now they're ready to work with you. Oh, look at this. It's the king. Yeah. Of cups. yeah there he is. There he is. Ta wow. Ta da. <laughs> yes. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So, okay. So, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Leo. I am a Leo. Hear me roar. I just got the vision of who is that? The Who was the lion? Oh, I, I can't. I can't. I, he, uh, Maybe it was the cowardly lion that I'm thinking of, because oh, I'm I'm hearing, class. yeah, I'm hearing I'm hearing him talk the way he would talk, and I don't want to imitate what he's saying. <laughs> so anyway, okay. <laughs> so I am afraid. I am afraid. <laughs> no, no, it's I, 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 you know, the noise he's making. I don't want to. Yeah, kind of crazy. Um. Okay. So. I feel like someone needs pa to be patient about something long-term and committed because someone's making a decision to cut something out to have happiness here. Okay, looking at something from a different mindset about their 10 of cups. Um, but there's deception. There was deception. There's emotional communication about walking away um, and somebody being blocked. Uh, why? Because of mind games and manipulation and, and someone's a harsh truth, like, like fighting, fighting here. Um, working on a new passionate beginning of, ooh, and love and abundance. Emperor wants to reconcile some kind of betrayal. So you're not speaking to him either because of an, wow, well, well, because of an ending. Um, so I feel like they're saying be patient about, about something long-term and committed because someone's trying to make a decision about their happiness because they see something different about a family situation that was deceptive, okay? Um, and they want to emotionally communicate um, about why they walked away and blocked you. That's what I'm feeling like, why it happened. But I feel like because somebody was, was I don't know, trying to win with manipulation here and mind games, and it may have caused some kind of big fight. And I don't know if it's your energy or the person you're dealing with or the person they may have been dealing with, but I feel like they they now want to work on a new passionate beginning and a new beginning of love and abundance. He's coming in as an emperor. So emperors usually Aries, could be Taurus, but... This person rules the empire, okay? He does not, he doesn't cower to anybody. He doesn't take any crap off of anybody. He is the hot, the hot dog, or the, the top dog, so to speak. Um, he does want to reconcile some kind of betrayal. You're not speaking to this person because there was an ending and something ended so something new can begin. So this person may have dipped out on you for somebody else. There was a fight about, you know, maybe someone being overly too controlling possibly, uh, whatever that was, but they're telling you to be patient about this because this person's really wanting to reconcile whatever they've done with you. Let me just say that telling a Leo to be patient is like telling a water sign to not cry. <laughs> Try to bathe a cat, right? Kind of same difference. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I've got the hermit here. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Could have it in your chart. Doesn't matter. But regardless, someone someone is, I feel like, making their way towards you. But they had to get, they had to, um, they gotta get rid of that snake. Yeah. You know, and they made a hung, they may have hung out there for a while, too long, maybe. You know, trying to figure it out whether the snake was good or bad or was it going to bite them? Should they go forward? Should they go back? Just kind of hung out there too long, but now they're picking up speed because now they, now they, now they've got the four one one. Let's just say, um, 
yeah, you're not speaking to this person. They blocked you, or you blocked them, vice versa. Uh, it, King of Cups could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Whoever, whoever this is did the blocking. Yeah. So whoever this, so if this isn't you, if you didn't block your person, okay, and your person blocked you, this is your person. All right. <laughs> and it's Block that relationship, wands. yeah. Yeah, they're your four of wands, okay? But here's the deal. To find their way to that four of wands, they had to go on this journey with this hermit. They, otherwise, it never would have worked. It wouldn't have mattered when or where or what was going on. It wouldn't have worked, okay? Um, so four of wands, five of cups. This is like my, I, like, I'm so sad that I'm, you know, I could die. I miss you so much I could die. They do. They miss you. They don't Having care Having some about, regrets. Yeah, regretting yeah. what they've done because that's what they look like they were they trying do. to repair. Wanting to heal it with the four of swords, yeah. six of cups. You can't yeah. make it up. Card of yes. reconciliation. So high priestess, another card that shows me that you guys are not speaking, but the universe is involved. The universe, just because you're not talking to one another in the 3D does not mean you aren't talking to, to each other in the 5D, 5D. And this has been a slow go with the Knight of Pentacles, but here's your Queen of Cups. Okay, here you are. Here's Too much, the hang, yeah. yeah, here's the hanged man. Could be this water sign. Seeing things differently. You know, creating change because they have passion for you and they had to fight for you coming full circle with the world, right? C coming in with an offer, Page of Pentacles. There you nice. go. Yeah. There you nice. go. So weird. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's get into Virgo. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Virgo, please. What does Virgo need to know? Virgo, you're looking at your past mistakes. You want to be with somebody. You want to come in and offer them something and heal something. There's going to be passionate communication about moving forward um, with an apology. So you may be traveling towards this person. I see some travel here. Now that you could be at a distance from this person and or you want to go from rough waters to calm waters with this person and apologize. So under the bottom of the deck, you're coming in very flirty, flirtatious, kind of sexy, you know, kind of romancing, trying to romance somebody. Coming in hot, okay? Coming in hot, in Virgo. Hot. You know, needing strength, though, because you have some regrets. Yeah, some regrets here. And, you know, something's ended, so something new can begin. So I feel like you've cleared out a cycle here. And, and now you here you go with the Virgo card. You see the light. Something's come clear to you. And you had to make a decision to cut something out, to have a new beginning and a victory in a relationship. Mm. I'm leaving it there. <laughs> kind right, of positive, see. positive, positive. So 10 of Pentacles, something long-term and committed was involved or is involved. Um, but also, you know, something solid, something that's built to last. Okay. So oh, that's what you're waiting on. Look at you. Waiting. Just waiting on that person you could be the nine of pentacles they could be the nine of pentacles either way we've got we've got a person here that is waiting on someone who you know who who is single or vice versa either way this is a legacy card the two of you are are supposed six of cups you're supposed to end up together that's how it's supposed to be you're Ooh, going happy. To, yeah you can't yeah nine of wands this is um nine of wands is kind of like i feel like your person accepting defeat in a sense that they're finally going to say, you know, I'm sorry I wasn't here sooner. I'm I'm sorry I I was so far away. I'm I'm sorry I didn't, you know, whatever. I I'm sorry I didn't come sooner, but here I am now, okay? Yes. Here I am now. And and that's what they're saying. Yeah, they're you guys probably have had some you don't see them coming either. And you you've had some times where you almost didn't feel their energy at all. But I feel like they're always a part of you, always. I mean, with this sun card, you know, you guys are just always in each other's energy. Nine of swords. Yeah, you're always thinking about one another. Two of pentacles. Um, you know, there's going to be a choice that comes that comes through that brings this person into you, regardless of what that is. It's their wish fulfillment. And here's, you have the world too, right? I did, closing I out, did. Closing out that cycle. So you may not see this coming, or you may not have heard from them for a while, but they're coming. There, I mean, yeah. with the sun and the six of cups, I, I don't even, I, there's nothing else I can even say. It's going to be a yes. ten of pentacles kind of day for you guys. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be good. Right. Okay, be. so, okay, so Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Libra. 
What does Libra need to know, please? My Libra. And rising are Libra. Oh. So. <laughs> oh, look at this. Your wish fulfillment is to walk away from a queen of cups and oh. block this person. Now, this is just real straight up here, isn't it? I feel like you're having some regrets. Um, you're coming in. I feel like your energy is this king of pentacles here. I feel like you're very solid, stable, dependable, um, and you're wanting a victory. So I feel like your wish fulfillment is to walk away from this person and block them. I feel like instead of this being you have regrets, I feel like you have no regrets. I feel like the reason I'm saying that is you're coming in as this king of pentacles, feeling like you've got a victory. I mean, you know, you're seeing something, you're seeing something real clear and you're just off to do. Why? Because look at that. A new beginning of love's coming towards you and passionate communication and a two of cups. Okay. Yeah, so uh, yeah, you got you got some hot stuff coming in, but some kind of a deception causes a tower. You're not speaking, you're just waiting because there's something hidden. Okay. Um, maybe hiding hiding your emotions um about some kind of emotional communication moving forward after a betrayal. Okay, what I feel like here, you're moving on to a new beginning in love. I feel this wish fulfillment to walk away from this queen of cups is because this queen of cups is the one who betrayed you. You were betrayed. And I feel like you're wearing your heart on your sleeve, but you're not really wanting anybody to know it. So there was deception. The deception caused the tower moment, okay? Wish fulfillment to walk away from this queen of cups and block this person. Why? Because they had some deception going on. There was there was deception and it caused a tower moment, okay? And I feel like now you're no longer speaking. You're no longer speaking to this person. You're just waiting for your ships to come towards you. So you're waiting for your ships to come in, but there's something that's still hidden here. There's things that you're not aware of that you they're going to try to emotionally communicate to you. So whatever the secrets is, you're going to find out because there's going to be emotional communication, but you're going to move on from this betrayal. You're you're just you're moving on from this betrayal. And this is what you're. A, don't call me now. <laughs> like, yeah, this is that. this is what you're moving towards after you get past this betrayal. You're going to have a really strong love connection with somebody who's your true love. So, or you're going to find them your to be your true love. Wow, Libra. Good okay. stuff. Hey, that's a lot. That's pretty heavy. That is pretty heavy. I feel like there's some Libras now that are already blocking their those, that person's phone number. Like, yeah, no, just don't call me. <laughs> just don't, don't even call me. Just don't call I'll, me. <laughs> I'll balance this out. Not only will I block you, block you on my phone, I'll block you on social media. I'll have the balance I need. <laughs> hey, just don't call me. <laughs> All right, so five of wands. So for whatever reason, there's a big hoopla over some emotional communication. Yeah, somebody is voicing their regrets. And look, it's like you don't care. You're getting what you deserve. I don't care about what you did because you're getting what you deserve. Don't ca don't call me with your bullshit that you're sorry, yeah. okay? Yeah. Because you're getting what you deserve. And that and doesn't that's... have anything to do with you, Libra. That has to do with the with the universe. But this is your card. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, look at that. Minor Arcana for the Justice card. They were lying to you. They were controlling the balance, okay? The Six of Pentacles is all about reciprocity and equal give and take. But if someone else is controlling the balance, is it really equal? No, no, it's not. It's breadcrumbing. So you're moving away from this person. You're closing out this cycle. You're tired of the crap. You're done, okay? You are, I think this is you weighing your options of what you want to do now. But it also does speak to this emotional communication, okay? They may have been juggling you and another person or you and a third party that doesn't necessarily have to be another person. But I do see this as you being like, hmm, where do I want to go now? I sure as hell ain't going back, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. There's so the there's, secrets. There's the secrets. There's the secrets. Yeah. So do you want to know the secrets or do you not want to know the secrets? I well, feel, I feel like, like you're going to find out those secrets whether you want to know them or not. But I, I, I think, I, you I know, so anyway. that gives you that closure anyway, any way you look well, at true. it. 
that's true. It's just gonna it's just gonna suck for a minute, okay? Yeah. It's just gonna suck. But we do have the five of cups right under or right above this moon. So they had some secrets and they regret it, okay? But you're like, hey, I'm ready to take a freaking jump and I don't care where I am as long as it's not near you. That's right. Yeah. You're you're done I okay, this could be one of two things. This is their ego wanting to control things or you stepping into your power saying, Here I go. I'm going to take charge of my life and I'm going to go wherever the hell I want. And it's not going to be with you. And you've been thinking about this for a long time. You're finally, you're finally going to get to speak your mind to this person when they call you and make your choice. And here's the Empress, right? And go forward and find what's for you going forward and finding what's for you. Okay. There we go. There you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. So the, the, the funnest sign of the universe uh, that the universe Lord. gives <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> I saw I saw a thing on Facebook one time that said people um and and I it wasn't my post. I I just thought it was cute. Um people need to Scorpios are the reason. Wait a minute. How did it say? Something about needing to stop having sex on Valentine's Day immediately because we already have too many Scorpios. <laughs> oh, so that's the reason. <laughs> I was like, I never thought of that, but okay. I was like, I mean, I don't have that. I don't have any issues with Scorpios. I think Scorpios are great, but okay. There you go. Okay, so Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Scorpio. Love me some Scorpio. Scorpio, I feel like I feel like you're having a new beginning of love and abundance, but you're being patient because you have a missed opportunity and you need to see something from a different perspective um, about, I feel like this is a soulmate. I feel like that's a soulmate. I feel like that's a soulmate. Um, oh, it could be. Uh, I feel like, oh, no, it's not a soulmate, guys. Sorry. Okay. What I'm getting here is there's a new beginning, um, but someone's being patient about a missed opportunity, but they see something from a different perspective now, or they're discontent seeing something from a different perspective because there was a choice between two and there was a lot of strife, jealousy, and competition. So somebody made a head over heart decision to cut something out, but feels very stuck up in their head because of this deception. Um, I'm trying to find why, why only on Scorpio would I get deception and the sun coming out of the deck. So, um, Ooh, somebody's, somebody's happy to cause a tower moment in this relationship. So the third party was happy to cause your heart to break, or this could be you. It doesn't, Take it out resonates with you, but there's a new beginning here, okay? And uh, you started a new beginning, and I, they feel like that you they're saying be patient about having this new beginning. That's what they're saying. Be patient about having this new beginning because you're unhappy because you saw something from a different mindset that had to do with the choice between two strife, jealousy, and competition, and making a decision to cut something out, but still feeling very stuck up in your head about the deception because it made somebody's day. It made somebody's day to cause a tower moment in this relationship. But I feel like you still have this coming. I feel like you still got the sun still going to shine on you. So regardless if it's you or the other person, whoever this is that this happened to, the other person's going to win. Well, they can just wait on the sidelines with Leo. <laughs> yeah. Well, I still feel like Scorpio, if this is Scorpio's energy, Scorpio's headed towards a new beginning. But I feel like they're unhappy because they found out the truth about somebody. But that third party that's involved, this is what I don't like. And this is why this is why those third party heifers have a bad reputation. Because look, it made somebody's day to cause a tower moment in your relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't like that energy. That's just, that's almost like giggling because they think they win. But if you, are you winning if you're the, if you're the, if you're the second best? I'm just I saying. I know, but Scorpio popped right out. We got this tower. Yeah. Popped right out. Ooh, seven of pentacles. So this has been brewing for a while, I think. Um, walking away from this yeah, tower. Yeah, walking away. But it's almost like. This this tower, I'm gonna have to get more, but I just feel like somebody's been working on this tower moment for a minute, and you walked away, 
uh, before they could bring it to complete fruition. Um, and for some reason, I feel like you got far enough away that you that you hung a left. Like you got far enough away, far enough out of it that they didn't necessarily get everything out of it that they wanted. And now you're, I think you are, you're creating your own beginning. I feel like I don't, I never feel like this, but I think this page of pentacles was you with your stuff packed up and you're walk, you're walking away after all this crap, not speaking to this person and listening to your intuition about somebody who wanted to win at all costs. Um, and who probably, okay. Who was probably said they were sorry and didn't mean it on more than one occasion. Yes. Because they were playing mind games with you. Okay. Yeah. So they are going to get their justice and you are going to get to, you know, to ride your victory horse out of there and you are going to get to heal uh, because there was a queen of wands that caused some conflict. Yes. Now I am, I am a Leo, so I am a queen of wands. I am not always causing conflict, but in the tarot, a lot of times queen, queen of wands can be the mistress card. And here she shows up with the five of wands causing yeah. all kinds of hullabaloo. Okay. Yes. That she worked on for a long time. That ain't a pentacle. Yeah. She worked on this shit for a long time. But here you are, okay? You're gonna get a new beginning because you're feeling you're feeling the fire in your belly again. So you're going out in search of your ten of pentacles. There you go. Wow. Yep. That's a lot. That is That's a lot. a lot. Yeah. That is a lot. <laughs> and whoever this person that you were dealing with was was put there for you to, to learn this reason, but God be Damn, that was hard. That was hard. I tell you. I mean, they, yeah. Okay, so Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides, clarity and guidance for Sagittarius. It's amazing to me, you know, the way that people treat one another these days. And, yes. and women who know that people are in relationships but continue to try to go after somebody, if he cheated on you, cheated on her with you he's going to cheat on you with somebody else mm -hmm. karma always and, has a way to make itself known and not only that but you know if your soulmate really is in someone else's bedroom um go on living your life because when it when it's time for you two to come together it'll happen and it'll happen the way it's supposed to and it'll when stay it's that meant way to. yeah when it's but meant you to you cannot i mean it's I, I don't even know people just yeah this is why I, this is why i sleep with the dogs <laughs> this is why i sleep with a dog okay so sagittarius i feel like you need the strength to communicate with somebody passionate communication somebody needs strength to communicate with you okay because i feel like there's an apology coming it could be you could be the person you're dealing with they want to come towards you and apologize they want to communicate an apology to move forward because they've gotten a lot of clarity. They've been thinking about something for a very long time, and they're trying to be patient about having a new beginning. Under the bottom of the deck, you have a Ten of Cups relationship here, but I feel like somebody had to come full circle, closing out a cycle. They may have breadcrumbed you for something toxic in the past. I feel like they may have moved on with something toxic in the past. So, yeah, so when they ended something, they ended it because they breadcrumbed you for something toxic and they moved on with this person. Could have been a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, uh, somebody who, uh, this could be a husband, this could be an ex, take it how it resonates with you. Now, very stuck up in their head, not speaking, wanting this new relationship, a new passionate relationship. So it's causing kind of a tower moment for them, but they're now coming in as a king of cups, trying to master their emotions. So I feel like you do have somebody coming towards you wanting to apologize. And they want to, they're trying to be patient to have a relationship with you, a new passionate relationship. And it's causing this person a bit of a tower moment because this is what they've done to you in the past. They may have ended it because of something toxic and breadcrumbed you, okay? And maybe moved on to something, you know, could have been husband. They could have been married to this person. It could have been an ex. This could have been somebody they were married to. But now they're very trapped in their head because they're not speaking to you. Sometimes you got to be careful for what you wish for because sometimes... Sometimes the grass is only greener on the other side because they use manure. 
Yeah, if they watered their own grass, they wouldn't have that issue, though. Right. Okay, so Nine of Cups, somebody's wish fulfillment is a new beginning, a leap of faith um, with someone who they see as a missed opportunity. Yes. Like the one that got away. Yes. Um, Page of Swords. All right, so you both are watching each other. What are you doing with your life? Or you're watching a relationship that they're in, or they're watching a relationship that you're in, or somebody's in, somebody's doing something. Who's doing this? Okay. This is them. They're in a relationship, but they're watching you and wanting to come towards you. Mm. There's, yeah, you guys are, are not speaking. You're not talking. There's things that you don't know about each other. Um, there's some secrets that have caused some heartbreak. Um, with a queen of cups, that could just be, uh, the energy you're in could be dealing with a water sign, but the queen of cups is very, is very, um, intuitive. She's, she's very, um, in tune with her emotions and how she feels. Um, and she's very loving and kind at her highest vibration. But I feel like, um, if this is you, something broke your heart. Yeah. Cause somebody had choices, had options, brought down that tower, but here they are up here. Still, their wish yes. fulfillment is a new beginning with you, right? Yes, yep, yep. They were breadcrumbing you. They know it. They were didn't want to admit it before, but they're going to because it, they want. They tried to keep it hidden to from you what they were doing. They were breadcrumbing you in a long term relationship that was actually their hand, their their happiness. And here's the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so now we've got two queens. Like so. I feel like these are the same people, okay? I feel like this speaks to how badly you were hurt because of somebody's choices, but how the position they want you in. Because the, the Queen of Pentacles is married to the King of Pentacles, right? So, you know, they're very, they're very steady, stable, and happy, okay? But, yeah, this person put you in a terrible position, like lying to you, causing problems. You know, then you were single and you were burdened because of their choices. Now they're going to communicate that they're sorry and they want to heal it, but they're not speaking. Yeah, we could do this all day. <laughs> all day. I just love that you go through the whole deck. It's like, well, Absolutely. I'm going to stop here. I don't want to go through all 78. Let's go. Right. So, we Holy could go through all 78. <laughs> Absolutely. Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides, clarity and guidance for Capricorn. What's Capricorn need to know? Capricorn. Ooh, okay. So Capricorn, you may be stuck up in your head about a, an Aries Leo or a Sag, something that was hidden, something that was hidden from you because you're coming in as the King of Pentacles. Now, I almost feel like this could be this could be a father to a son. This could be a best friend to, you know, your best friend. But I feel like you're very feely, very trapped up in your head about some something that was hidden about this Aries Leo or Sag. Now, I feel like you're looking at past mistakes, feeling left out in the cold, wanting to move forward, but you have regrets. I feel like there was no equal give and take and you may have held back, uh, held back communication and it caused a tower moment. And and now you feel like you're watching you're watching something that has to do uh, with a decision. Um, you're I feel like you're spying you're spying here, um, watching or uh, gathering information. I feel like no, this is you held back from communication and it caused a tower. And I feel like now you're gathering information this is truthful communication or gathering information to make a decision and i feel like you're getting some clarity as i saw this card here getting some clarity from maybe a cancer pisces or a scorpio um about something that's been going on for a long time wow 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 Oy. and this isn't even about a love relationship um Capricorn, I don't feel like this is about a love relationship at all. I feel like this is a father and a son, possibly, or uh, a best friends finding out something. But you're going to get that information from somebody that you may feel close to, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Interesting. A whole 
theory in my head that just popped in there, but I'm not going to, I'm going to wait and see what my cards say. All right. So somebody's playing the fool. That's what I get from that card. Um, they feel like the fool. They're up in their head. They're worried. They're stressed. There's something going on that's causing them to feel like they've been played as the fool. Like somebody's caused them to feel that way. Um, here comes some information. Knight of Cups. There's your water sign. Um, emotional communication. Somebody is coming in to bring you a message. Okay. Um, this is divinely guided, regardless of how it feels, guys. Regardless of how it feels. The universe has has waited and waited and waited and tempered the energy, you know, kind of behind the scenes. But now they're bringing this to you because now is the time for you to see whatever this is, okay? To see what was hidden. The moon. Yeah. So there was um, a relationship. And again, it doesn't have to be a, 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 a love relationship. Could be with an Aries. It could be with an Aries, but it could also be um, a situation that where somebody took control of, of you know, whatever of the situation, um, to maintain their happiness, because and maybe because they thought they were maintaining your happiness. Okay, here you are. You're gathering information. You are on the. You are on like the cusp of finding out whatever was hidden, or you are close to finding out whatever was hidden. Okay. Could have been from a from a king of wands. Doesn't have to be, but that's the the, that's the <laughs> that's the same card I got. I know. I feel like this king. You know, this king of wands always gets what he goes after, and you are you're starting to feel like someone took something from you and you want it back, and here you go after it. Okay. Bottom of the deck, um, the high priestess, some secrets that have slowly been coming your way, and now, bam, here they are. Tower. Okay. I'm gonna tell you right now that. The very first energy that I got from this was somebody's about to find out that they were adopted. Because it happened a long time ago. And somebody is, I don't know, I, I, I just, I don't know. But it's going to shatter your whole world. But keep in mind that this is very divinely guided. There's a reason you need to know this. There's a reason it's been hidden until now. It doesn't feel that way because as humans, we tend to screw things up as much as we possibly can. Okay. That's our free will. That's the, you know, that's what we get. So just know that whatever is going on is going on because the universe deems it that way. Okay. They may not have had a choice as to how people did this or the, you know, the road that it took to get there, but now it's your turn to know. So, and, and the adoption is not going to be for everybody. Obviously not everybody watching is adopted. I'm just saying that was one of the things that rang a bell in my head, but you're going to learn something that you need to, it's going to hurt. It's going to suck, but you're going to move on. There you go. There Happy you go. Friday. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you never know. Each person's different. So, okay. So Holy Spirit, angel, spirits, and guides, clarity and guidance for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Aquarius, you're making a head over heart decision to cut something out. There could have been a choice between two. Aquarius, you're coming in strong in your reading here. King of Swords. King of Swords always knows his opponent. He always knows how to defeat somebody. Why? Because there's deception. So I feel like you're making a decision to cut out a choice. You're being very strategic because somebody was deceptive with you. I feel like there's emotional communication. King of Wands causing a tower moment so you may have found out by a friend or somebody may have seen somebody and so i feel like this king of wands is the one who let the cat out of the bag so now you're not speaking and you want justice you're uh, that's angry 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 i feel like you got you're going to speak your truth about whatever they did offered their love to somebody else now you want to rest and recover, walk away from the relationship because you're guarded and defensive. And uh, I feel like you're you're looking for your happiness. Yeah, I feel like you're looking for your happiness. So I feel like uh, for Aquarius, I feel like you make a decision because there was a choice between two. And now you're being strategic about whatever this is, whatever the deception was. Communication to the King of Wands brings down the tower. So. Now you're you're not speaking to somebody you want justice um, because maybe it was a fight or an argument, uh, but I feel like they may have offered their love to somebody else and juggled you. 
um, and now you're very trying to rest and recover, walking away from the relationship, very guarded. You're guarding your happiness. You're guarding your, you're like, you're not going to be one bit bothered by it. You know, that's how I feel like you're just, you know, if that's what you want, have it because there's 10 coming at you tomorrow. Oh my. All right. Page of swords. Somebody spying on you or you them. Uh, ooh. Are you spying on a past person, Aquarius, or is a past person spying on you? I just heard, I see you. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's a new passionate beginning coming in for you from somewhere, or at least an offer. Uh, somebody seeing things differently could be you. This, If this is a person from the past, you see them differently. Um, I feel like they've always, they've always thought, you know, it was you. Um. But you were, while they were watching you, you were stuck in some Five of Swords situation. Like, you were stuck with somebody who was just trying to keep you at all costs, control you. There's that ego. Um, when it's when the Emperor is next to the Five of Swords, I don't always like that because that's an Emperor in a very low vibration, you know, where he's really playing mind games and he wants to win and blah, blah, blah. And he's this wearing is the highway. Right. This is what you were dealing with all the time this person's been watching you. Right. All this time, somebody's been watching you. So you've been going through all this crap, but you were supposed to. You were supposed to. Now the tower has been brought down. Right. And here comes some emotional communication. And if we put this up here, this is your person spying on you, coming in for with some emotional communication um, about wanting to change, having a lot of passion for you and wanting to make changes. Um I feel like they want to release you from this feeling trapped. Like you felt trapped by this person and you're trying to move forward. It's really hard, but they're going to come in and they're going to help you. Yeah, they're going to help you. They're going to help you see what you could have, see that you have options, see um, what's on the other side of this freaking disgusting tower that has such heavy energy because they're your two of cups. So of course they're going to help you out, right? This is your person you're supposed to be with and they're coming. They're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with their two of cups. They are. They love you. They love you. This isn't always bad. When it's next to the two of cups, yeah. um, this is this is a lot of good things. Take it as it resonates. They've manifested you. And you, you're, you're completing a cycle, right? Because somebody was, was defensive, may have blocked you, and, and broke your heart with a third party. But here come, you know, they may even be wanting to, to make an offer to you as the Page of Pentacles, but they're going to get their justice, right? They they tried to hold on for too long, and now they're going to get their justice. You're walking away. You're single. You don't give a shit. Um, there you they go. Can just, they can just take their secrets and put them on the boat with them. You're moving forward. There you go. There you go. Oh. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> this is like cruise in. Okay, let's get into Pisces. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Pisces, please. What does Pisces need to know? Pisces. Ooh, there you are. Um, okay, so I feel like you've gotten some clarity about something, Pisces, because you're coming out right out the gate here. Um, and you may be you may be waiting heartbroken for communication. Yeah. I, somebody may have broken your heart and you're waiting for them to communicate. But I feel like it was a big fight and something, somebody learned something from the past. Um, uh, uh, you're about a queen of wands or strife, jealousy, and competition. So I feel like, I feel like there was an argument or a fight or a harsh truth about some, somebody looking at the past with this queen of wands um, that's causing you to be very jealous. Under the bottom of the deck, you're working out in the cold to heal. You're very guarded because of this option and you're trying to be patient about healing, but there's some regrets because you think this person was your two of cups and they have moved on to their 10 of cups to have a victory. Empress relationship. Okay. So I, I feel like that's what you're, you've gotten clarity, but I feel like this is your energy. You're waiting heartbroken for communication. But I feel like there was a harsh truth. And and it, somebody's looking back at the past mistakes. There was a queen of wands that was, there was a lot of jealousy or there was strife, jealousy, and competition. Um, 
about this third party or or now you're just working out in the cold trying to recover very guarded and defensive about this option being patient to heal yeah i feel like there's some regrets or they've got some regrets or you may miss them you're missing your two of cups that's what this is missing your two of cups but i feel like they've moved on to a ten of cups victory relationship with an empress so i don't know yeah Seven yeah. of swords, betrayal, backstabbing, lies, yes. deceit. Yes. Um, Watching it, seeing it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it's almost like you don't have to go very far. I mean, this is right next to this. You don't have to go very far to be, to be watching this play out. It's been going on for a while. It's been going on for a while, a long time. And now you're 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 gonna have to figure out what you want to invest in, also. Um, Empress. <laughs> There's that empress that you keep mm -hmm. coming back to. Um, you have, geez, your wish fulfillment. Okay. You are, for whatever reason, you are stuck on something from the past. The, and you can't move, you can't move past it. It's like, it's like, it's like a damn train wreck. You have to, you have to look. You can't help it. So it keeps you stuck in this five of pentacles. It's out in the cold, this alone situation. Um, there's happiness out there for you. This could be a third person that caused this, but there is happiness out there for you. Um, but you are stuck. You yourself have kept you stuck. Yeah. Boy, you've got an ace of cups out there. All right, Pisces, whatever the hell went on in your last relationship, that just means that that wasn't for you. Okay. That just means that it wasn't for you. It was yours for a while, not yours anymore. You have a brand new beginning come in right underneath this Empress and this Nine of Cups. Okay king of swords so you could be dealing with an aquarius libra or a gemini or this could be you just ready to to stand in your truth in a new relationship so that you can get your wish fulfillment and get your empress right yeah two of cups ace of cups and two of cups needing to heal from a tower moment that's been divinely guided you've got a four of wands ten of pentacles whatever happened in the past whoever this other person was right that was doing you dirty um it it hurts, but you're going to move on because you've got, I mean, I don't know how this gets any better. You've got the two of cups, the 10 of pentacles, the ace of cups, you've got the four of one. I mean, how does that get any better? And this yeah. has all been planned, planned for you by the universe. Okay. So whatever this pain, this hurt was, feel it, learn from it, move on. Okay. Because you're going to rebuild this tower and you're going to do it with literally the person that is right for you with your empress. Okay. Everything is going to be just fine. It doesn't feel like it, but it's going to be. Oh, well, there you go. Be. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So that's all we have for you guys. If this resonates with you, don't forget to go to, uh, to Carly's channel, Lilith's Window Tarot, and, uh, of course, Quartz Rose Tarot. Like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next week for episode 11. Have a yes. great week. Absolutely.